You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events right here in Scotland County. With your host, Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in Scotland County, it's on right here. Hello, everybody. Cecil Chandler for On the Road in Laurenburg, Scotland County. Let me tell you, we're in front of the John Blue House. And guess what? We've got Jim Quick with us from Coastline. I'm talking about Mr. Beach Music himself. He's the host of today's show. And we're glad you're here because we're going to find out a lot of things about Jim Quick, where he's going to, what he's doing, where he grew up. He grew up right here in Laurenburg, North Carolina. We've got a great show lined up, some fun stuff. We're going to take you on a trip all around Laurenburg, Scotland counties to visit some of the places that probably you did not even know existed. All that's coming up right here. Laurenburg, Scotland County on the road. We're going to have a great time today, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Laurenburg, Scotland County areas. And ladies and gentlemen, Jim Quick is here with me. That's it. Home sweet home. That's right. This host for the show uh, today. And now, Jim, you grew up here in Laurenburg. Every inch of my childhood was, uh, you know, born and bred. It's like the born and bred, deep fried Scotland County style. <laughs> all right, yes, your, your dad's still here. Yeah. He's still living here, yeah, too. My dad right? and my mother. But yeah, they're all they're still all right. here. My cousins and family. Like it's, it's, it's truly home for me. All right, now you're moving up in the world. You've gotten married, and there's a little something we need to tell people about that. What? Uh, what? Is something, isn't there something coming up? I, well, are you, are, none of them don't put me in that. It ain't happening yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, you don't know something I don't know. Oh, I was just asking. I didn't know. No, I was just no, trying no, to figure no. it out. No, we look, we, we're, we're, uh, she says practice is over, so it's probably about time. But about we, time now. About time, yeah. All right, let's talk a little bit about Coastline, because y'all have been together now for how long, Jim? Coming up on 25 years. Next year will be 25 years. Wow. I know. Something, yeah, but it's a bunch of guys that I grew up with. Uh, Scotland High School, a bunch of buddies. We got together and had a bunch of garage bands, and uh, we went to a local college here, Pembroke State University. Yeah. At, the, at the time, it was Pembroke State University. And lo and behold, you know, um, the band just stuck through the years. We had members come and go. Yeah. And uh, I'm the only surviving Laurenberger left in, in the band. But uh, yeah, man. But it's every night I let everybody know that uh, I'm from Laurenberg, Scotland County boy. All right, now you travel a lot. You do a lot of traveling. Y'all go from where to where to do shows? You know, mostly I, I tell people the southeast is like uh Maryland to Miami to the Mississippi, yeah. if you will. But most of us concentrated from Virginia to Georgia, and we do about 250 shows a year, one nighters. All one nighters. Yeah. So you're always on the road, just about. Uh, always. Yeah. Well, 100,000 miles at least a year. Wow. Does your yeah. wife travel with you some? Some. She's my agent manager, so that worked out good. She know? takes care of the money. She takes care of. Yes. <laughs> definitely. You don't want me to. Musicians don't have any business mess with any numbers. Yeah. Well, I can understand that. I see you just got a new ride, man. Yeah, man. Uh, Brand new from Scotland Motors, right yeah, here. That's Lee a good Howell. place. Yeah, Lee Howe hooked us up. We got us a, a big old limo conversion Ford. It's bad. It's nice, nice. I'll tell you what, now you'll be riding in style yeah, when you travel a little bit. Coastline's in town, people. <laughs> that's good. All right, now, I got I to gotta ask you this. Now, in traveling out around, your favorite places like to play. I know there's a lot of places, but what area do you like to play the most? Uh, to be honest with you, yeah. uh, Laurenburg. I mean, it's <laughs> you don't have to travel far. No, no like, you're right. You know, you know, even though I've lived in the beach for, you know, a couple of decades now. It's just, it's still home. I mean, I, I, I started out with beach music and, and working at uh, WLNC in a radio, radio station right yeah. there with Fred Fox hired me and it just went on and on and just, I never left beach music and to me that even though I live at the beach, beach music home and everything just kind of correlates. Some of the best shaggers from here, Cy Creed and Sam West are, and everybody. Sam West is unbelievable. Yeah. I've had him on the show. He did a national commercial too. Yeah. That was, that was very good. All right. You've done a couple of videos. I had you on the show one time talking about videos. Anything else in the future for you in videos, maybe? Yeah, man. A matter of fact, uh, we're hooking up with a guy that is from Laurenburg, too. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Rob Harville from here, the Harville family. He's, he's uh, worked with the ESPN, HBO, and has done documentaries. And he's going to do a documentary on the band and, and, a, and a bunch of new music videos with our next album. So That is going to be cool. I'm really looking forward to that, too. Oh, man. All right. Jim Quick's with me. He's the host for this show. He'll be back with me a little later on. But, uh, Let's see, I see. We're going to travel around Laurenburg. You want to ride with us? Yeah, let's go. Let's hit this right. wonderful, beautiful county. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Stay with us. 
You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back, everybody. We're on location in Laurenburg, Scotland County areas, and we're letting you know about everything that happens every Wednesday. That's what we do. We visit everywhere in the Laurenburg area. David Volk with me now from Blue Scope Steel Buildings. That's what you're with right now. Y'all have a lot of companies that have come together to yes. make this big company. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, Blue Scope is a steel company from Australia. Right. And they bought Butler, which is one of our brands. That's the one everybody knows. That's the one everybody in this area knows. Right. And then a few years later, they bought uh, Farco Prudent Buildings. And so we melded those together. And we have a conventional. The Butler had a conventional company that went along with the sale. So now we make pre-engineered metal buildings for three different folks. We ship them all over the country. We've got seven manufacturing facilities. We've got multiple engineering offices. The Butler Engineering Office is here in Laurenburg. Greensboro has the Varco Prudent Engineering Office, so we get drawings from both of them. And then the conventional is based in Kansas City, Missouri. All right, now y'all been around for a long time, since what, the 60s? Uh, Butler's actually been around since the 1800s. Wow! And has done multiple things over the years. They built grain bins, you know, way back in the day. They built airplanes for a while. And I didn't know that. In early in World War One, I, I believe it was. And so Butler's been around forever. Varco was, Butler was the first metal building company ever. Uh, to start the business, yeah. and then now Varco was the number two company to start in the business. So these are the two oldest metal building companies in the United States. All right, now there's something y'all are real proud of is your safety record. Our safety record is exemplary. Blue Scope all the way up to Australia is very serious about safety. Uh, we just went over a million hours here last year without a lost time injury. Uh, so our rate is very good. Our rate over the company is very good. And our rate over the world is really good. We've got facilities all over the world. So, All right. Now, uh, you, you do a lot of things in the community. I see you do scholarships, too. Tell us about some of the scholarship stuff. Um, we do scholarships for the children of our folks that work here. Uh, so we have a, an annual program that we do that with. We have several community colleges that we have scholarships with, local colleges. And uh, our HR visits all the colleges several times a year. We visit the high schools. We bring high school folks in and, and give them tours. And so it's, we're real active in the community. We're real active in uh, the chamber and, and the events the chamber does. Uh, we donate to Habitat to Humanity. All our recyclables go to there, to them from here. So we do that a couple times a year. We collect all that and, and take that out and then donate the money to them. That's great when a company can do that. And also something else, you, you donate some steel and all to some schools. What's right. that for? Uh, to support the welding programs, oh, both okay. at the community colleges and the high schools. So we're donating our scrap steel to them and then they weld it up and they bring it back to us and then we throw it in our dumpster and send it off to be recycled. Well, that's pretty good. All right, now how many employees do you have working right here in this this building? In this building, we're right at about 55. Okay. Uh, most of them are out hourly. We run a, a truss purlin, two truss purlin lines out there, which is a, a Butler product, a patented Butler product. It's very popular. We just started it a few years ago. We used to make another truss purlin here that shipped all over the country. And so we've moved, it's a newer design, it's bolted, we used to weld it. And we also do mill beam out here, which is uh, a lot of conventional work, a lot of I-beam and stuff like that. And uh, so we've got a, a robot that cuts it that's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty amazing here. We're talking about Blue Scope Buildings. That's where it's all happening right here, just outside of Laurenburg. Dave, thanks for being with us, all right? Thank you very we much. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, we got a lot more. We're on the road, Laurenburg, Scotland County. Stay with us, we'll be back. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. They've made some improvements here at the Max and Laurenburg Airport. Randy's with me now to talk about some of those improvements and what's coming up. What's going on? What's happened so far, Randy? Well, Cecil, in the last three years, three years ago, we, uh, completely redid the existing runway. It had been here for since 1942, but uh, we were funded to replace the, the existing runway at that time, and now we can land uh, the big boys. The big boys. That's pretty good. All right, now what, uh, what else you got coming? You got well, more coming, we, have you? We're continuing the 
uh, refurbishment of the taxiway. Uh, we just two years ago we redid the, the entire taxiway, uh, and now we're, we're being funded to finish that project. Oh, that's going to be pretty good. All right, now what are some of the services the airport offers? Well, we we're the service station here. Scotland Aero Services is the service station. We offer uh, jet fuel mm -hmm. for turbine engine aircraft, such as uh, Citation jets and the jet behind us, uh, as well as military. We also offer uh, AF gas for uh, piston-driven aircraft. Uh, we offer hangar space uh, for rent. We also offer uh, training areas for uh, some military units, uh, most notably uh, the Golden Knights, oh, yeah. U.S. Army parachute team, which they're jumping today. Uh, they just got back from uh, training in Florida and, and Yuma. Okay, well, let me tell you, y'all do a lot here, and this is what is so neat about the Larnberg Maxton Airport. Randy, thank you so much for being with us, my friend. Thank you for All having right. us. All right, stay with Absolutely. us. We got a lot more coming up right here on the road, Larnberg, and in Scotland counties. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Larnberg Chamber of Commerce. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're in the Larnberg, Scotland area. This is called On the Road. We find out a little bit about everything in this area, and believe me, I have learned so much today. And right now, we're here at Scotland Healthcare. We want to find out from Dr. Davis about your four-star rating. What is that, man? That's pretty good. Yes, sir. Uh, Medicare has made an effort to make healthcare decisions easier for the public. So just like restaurants are rated, just like hotels are rated, they've come up with a rating system of the star system. You know, the public is very familiar with that. So therefore, when you're choosing a health care provider, you can easily go on a publicly reported website to look up our number of stars, and that equates to the quality of care that we deliver. Now, how long did it take y'all to get to this rating? How long? Yeah, really. Um, Medicare has been making changes in how they purchase health care for their recipients over the past five to six years. Uh, we've been building up to this over that time to where we have publicly reported data on the web regarding our infection rates, our fall rates, um, any type of metric that they have us to report, those are publicly available. So this year, last year, the, uh, the star rating actually came out and was available. So it was related to patient experience only. So how patients are satisfied with their experience here in Larnberg. This year, it's related to a lot of other things. And it, you know, in addition to patient experience, it's safety, our infection rates, it's our readmission rates. Um, if you come here, how, how many patients come back within 30 days? We try to keep patients home in 30 days so that they're not coming back to the hospital unnecessarily. Dr. Davis, tell me about the, uh, your doctors and nurses, uh, you know, focusing on a patient-centered, you know, health care. You know, as, as we mentioned earlier, the uh, STAR rating is directly linked to patient experience. Um, I think it's well known over the past 10, 20 years of health care that a lot of scheduling for patients' uh, appointments and their procedures are really directed around our schedule, not so much being patient-centered. That is a move nationally to um, put in place the patient preferences and directing our services to the point of care delivery to the patient so that the patient is more involved in their care, they're more engaged, also they're more educated about their disease process. Healthcare is changing so much. The technology is improving almost every day. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Um, we are investing a lot of healthcare resources in order to improve our care delivery. One critical cornerstone of that is information technology. The key to um, successful clinical integration and making that more patient-centered is the transfer of information, and we're using our computer systems to do that. All right, now, when you take a look at this hospital, this I like the way it's located. It's in an area where everybody can get to you. Right, we are right beside 74, so we get a lot of patients that are traveling through. Um, I've taken care of Canadians, I've taken care of many people out of state, um, so we are right beside 74, so they see our hospital sign and come in. All right, now, how um, long have you been here? I have been here since 2008. Oh, okay. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Pembroke, North Carolina. Pembroke, right down the road. Yes, sir. Well, that's not bad. We appreciate you taking time to talk with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. we got a lot more coming up. Don't go away. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live on the road, Larnberg, Scotland County area. Let me tell you, we're at the John Blue House out here now, and they're getting ready 
for the Civil War reenactment. I'm telling you, this is the first time they have been here, and I've got Bernie and Ed with me now. Now, uh, Bernie, tell me a little bit about the reenactment, you know, everything that goes on. Well, it's Saturday, uh, April 9th, starts at 11 a.m. and runs till 5 p.m. Right. And uh, we've got uh, two, re uh, two skirmishes. Uh, with the uh, southern troops fighting northern troops, and uh, those will last about 30 minutes each with cannon fire and musket fire. And uh, we have uh, three great presenters, uh, well, two, uh, I'm one of them, and uh, uh, Karen Stokes from Charleston, who will speak on uh, uh, civilians in Sherman's Path, South Carolina uh, civilians in Sherman's Path, second by Paul Graham, uh, talking about the uh, former South Carolina slaves uh, remember Sherman's invasions. Oh, okay. uh, very interesting uh, talks that, that will occur in the afternoon, so we encourage people to come out for those. And we have everything spaced out, so the, uh, if you watch the skirmishes, you can also watch the uh, or listen to the uh, presenters. All right, who wins the skirmishes? Can you tell us? Or they got to come see it. they got to come see it. <laughs> All <laughs> right, that's good. Let me go over to Ed. Now, Ed, how long have you been doing this? This is my 21st year. 21st year. Now, you're dressed as a? Confederate major. A major. So you got a little rank. So you got to tell uh, everybody what to do? Uh, I actually know. I'm a <laughs> battalion staff officer in oh. South Carolina. Oh, okay. I'm the safety officer and ordnance officer. I inspect their weapons and that kind of stuff for safety. So this is a lot of excitement. Y'all have a lot of fun out here, don't you, Bernie? I mean, tell Absolutely. Me, yeah. I, mean, I portray General William Hardy, who passed uh, north of here about 25 miles. Yeah. Coming from Shira to uh, uh, Rockingham and then onward to uh, Fayetteville, Aversville, Aversville, where there was a battle, and then Bentonville. And uh, we have a staff of about uh, six or seven officers that will be here, as well as the uh, uh, the encampment. And we have a great time and enjoy the, the history. And we believe it's an educational experience for people to come out and, uh, and uh, see the skirmishes, talk to the talk to the men involved and the women involved we'll have ladies out here as well and uh yeah learn more about their their history and where they came from and who came before them all right now this is not the first it's the first time here at the uh, john blue house but it's been going on for 20 some years or more well, is last, that right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, last year we had the sesquicentennial uh, events, so we couldn't fit Lorenberg into the schedule. We were busy last year because of last year of the sesquicentennial, but uh, you know, we had a lot of people turn out for those events from Aversboro to Bentonville and uh, Duplin Roads, which was uh, what Wallace used to be called. Yeah. And uh, uh, Lorenberg actually fits into this whole thing because it was a, in the path of the invasion from South Carolina. All right. And, uh, now, Ed, how many people will be taking part in this, men and women? Roughly. Bernie would know more than I would okay. on that. I'm hoping maybe at least 30, 40. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. At least that many. Yeah, at least that many. All right, now that's pretty good. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Is it a real sword? Yes, sir. Okay, I just want to look at it's it. It's pointed. It's got it. Okay. Just so you can pull it out. Oh, I can pull it out? Okay. I just wanted to show it. Now, is this an old one or is this really reproduction? Act? Reproduction? Just like the pistol, 44 okay. caliber for reproduction. It's a black powder pistol. And, and all of this, y'all will be using all of this, though. I mean, this will be part mm -hmm. of the reenactment. Right. Shooting blanks, but they're, uh, yeah. they're real. We'll have the live cannon fire. A little bit lighter loads than normal, but uh, they'll shake the, uh, the foundation. I bet you that will be nice and cool. I love going to a reenactment. All right, guys, thank you all so much for being here. This is uh, one more thing. we got a thing for the yeah. kids, too. All right, so go got, ahead. Tell me about a, it. Uh, we've got a youth enlistment camp that uh, he's going to his uh, Sons of Mars, uh, sort, uh, Sons of Confederate Veterans group will be running, enlisting young, uh, young people in the Sons of Mars camp just like they did 150 years ago, 155 years ago, yeah. and okay. uh, letting those kids uh, be part of the skirmish. All right, right that sounds like a lot of fun. Too. All right, give them the date one more time real quick. April? Saturday, April 9th. Be here. 2016. John Blue House. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Yeah. What do you mean you're talking to me? You're talking to me? You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. We're showcasing different businesses and events to do right here in Scotland County. Brought to you by ABC 15 and the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Oh, welcome back. We had a great time today, Jim. We appreciate you riding with us to some of the places, too. That was a lot of fun. It's an honor. Thank you so much. Oh, man. A Laurenburg boy. Now, coming up in May, you got a big deal here. Yeah, I mean, uh, they have a concert series here with all the top bands in the Carolinas come here. Uh, the Laurenburg at the Five Series. We're going to kick it off this year, May 20th, at the... Um, uh, Recreation uh, Complex. Yeah, yeah the Laurenburg, uh, Scott and County Parks and Rec uh, Complex right now. All right, Jim. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate you being on the show with me. Yeah. We've had a great time, and uh, hey... We'll see you again right here in Laurenburg and Scotland counties. We'll be on the road again. Tell them bye, Jimmy. The big LBG visit. <laughs>